everybody and welcome to the Minecraft City Construction Challenge with me, Jane Gray 624 and my husband here, Migash. Hey Migash! Hi everybody! Alright, so we are resuming our previous duties from last episode. We got started on our well over here. Holy oh, yeah. shit. What are you holy shitting? Uh, holy come shit, take a look, look at the tree farm! <laughs> Whoa! That took off quick. Um, we're gonna want to use an iron axe on this. Um, yeah, good thing I used planks on the library in the inn and not logs. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Um, so Migosh is going to go ahead and chop those down and turn them into charcoal. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I need to get an iron axe first. I don't have any iron on me. I have an iron axe, but I might possibly need it because I'm going to go put the top on. The well, I can punch it down. Do you want this axe? No, that's right. Um, I don't need those right now anyway. I've got a bunch of dark oak turning into charcoal for my okay. big furnace uh, area, so I'm not too worried about it right now. Okay. Um, I am finishing up the well here, and then I'm going to get started on putting paths in. And things are going to start getting rearranged a little bit. There is going to be a path running through here, but one thing that we decided with our wheat farm on the other side of the river is that it's too close to the house, so that one's going to be moving out a little bit to put a path in over there. And then eventually our market district is going to be behind that tower over there, but that's a little bit ways away yet. Uh, like I said, I want to get this well done for starters. Um, um, you know, the other thing we could do, if you wanted, huh? um, is we could clear out this forest back here and put the market district back here. See, that's what I was just talking to you about, but okay. <laughs> back behind City Hall? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we'd have to level this down some because it's some weird hills back here too once we clear out all the trees. Yeah, that's kind of why I liked your idea of just putting it up there where it was already flat. I know, but I could really use the wood once we cleared out all these trees. Okay, so clear out all those trees. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to go through and kill all these trees before I start on the warehouse just because I want the wood. I say what you probably... Oopsie. I did not want that there. Um, I am going to have you... Uh, I, I think I'm going to have you uh, set up the game for me a couple nights this week where I can do some stuff off camera because uh, I'm going to finish clearing out those trees. Okay. Um, I want to completely flatten all that, do our market. I, I really like the idea to put the market district back there after we flatten that out. Um, and then I also think I'm going to start the warehouse off camera because I want to try a few ideas before I actually build it. Well, technically speaking, you're always off camera. Eh, kind of, sort of. <laughs> um, or maybe we can start um, where I will start live streaming while I'm doing some of this stuff. As I said, you're usually up later than I am. Well, sometimes. Damn. See what kind of feedback we get from the fans, but uh, if anybody's interested in watching us do some live streams of some of the stuff we normally do off camera, um, we could possibly do that. Oh, God damn it. This fence is... Your, yeah, wow, I can talk tonight. These stairs are being a pain in the ass. Um, yeah, we can totally live stream. Um, we are still working out some of the kinks with our video and audio and all that fun stuff. Okay, this is just pissing me off. Um, Language tonight. Jeez. Uh, these stairs are just a pain in the rear. I'm trying to put them in right. Okay, where's... You took all my dirt. No, you didn't. Okay, good. Blaming me for shit? It was the hole in front of your house that I had to patch up. The hole that you caused? Yes. I, I didn't cause that. A creeper did it. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, who was the creeper chasing? You first. God. Not that creeper. Damn it, I hate these stairs. Language tonight. I'm not the stairmaster, man. I'm telling you. And. Me, yeah, my, my four relationship with stairmasters is basically, oh hi, you're a stairmaster. I'm gonna go eat a donut now. <laughs> okay. So, oh yeah, by uh, one other thing that we did off camera. Um, apparently, I don't know the first damn thing about how to build a well because Migosh came over here and tried to take a bucket of water out of it and broke it. Um, <laughs> so he had to fix it. And, and that was interesting, because apparently uh, it, the way that he did the well made me realize that I did my lake wrong on my Skydead series, so now I'm going to have to go fix that. 
Oh, you're talking for the infinite water source yeah. issue? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm wondering if that's why I don't have any squid over there, because I totally forward that lake. Because apparently you don't just, you know, put a bunch of water on one layer and then dig the dirt out from underneath of it and let it fall. It doesn't work that way. Oh, so speaking of Sky Den... Um, I didn't say Sky Den, I said Sky Block, but... Oh, Sky Block. Okay, never mind. <laughs> well, I, was, I get Sky Den on the brain. Of course you do. Um, I found an interesting thing that's in one of the mods on Sky, uh, Sky Den. Okay. And I really want to get this mod for our series. But you can make backpacks and bags to keep in your inventory. Okay. So then you can store extra things in those bags. So for every bag you keep in your inventory, I think it's a 16 slot or 18 slot storage. <laughs> you are seriously missing your World of Warcraft days. <laughs> well, no, I'm just thinking the extra storage would be really nice, especially when I'm out here like gathering massive amounts of wood. True. Uh, where are you right now? Because it's getting dark. I am cutting down a tree. Can you go sleep real quick? Sure. I'm sleeping in the uh, city hall, though. Okay. And I am not touching these potatoes anymore because every time I try to dig some up to replant them, I only get one, so I don't know if I'm... I just replanted them, so they shouldn't be ready to pick yet. Oh, that could be why. All right, then. I'm still getting used to this resource pack. I can't tell when they're at their last stage. Apparently there's three stages, and I keep pulling them up on stage two. Well, don't do that. <laughs> like I said, I'm not touching them anymore. I'm letting you do it. <laughs> You're the one with the green thumb. My thumbs aren't green. <laughs> Although, apparently, I'm proving my theory about, you know, my green thumb being non existent wrong because I've got my little garden out on our patio here at our in real life that's actually at growing things. Just no, that's squishy that's growing things. That's what? That's squishy that's growing those. Right. Oh, another creeper. Jeez. I was talking these about creepers. the science experiment in the pop bottle. Yeah, that's her, that's her plants. That's why they're growing. Uh-huh. Ooh, that almost went badly. You almost blew up City Hall, didn't you? No, I almost blew up me. Oh, another creeper. Oh, uh, that's where these damn things are coming from. Is there a spawner in there? Well, no, there's no such thing. No, no, sp spawner. no spawner, but there's a cave back you? here that needs to be lit up. Okay, I've only been telling you that for like three episodes. Why the hell am I trying to use a wood axe on a freaking cobblestone block? I don't know. Oh my god. It's so late. Which I... I don't know how I can be tired. It took a nice long nap this time. And folks, I'm sorry if you hear snoring. My son is asleep on my lap right now, so I'm... kind of, you know, keeping my mouth away from his face here so the microphone doesn't pick him up. But if you hear snoring, it is my son. Right. Our son, yeah. He's only your son when he does something wrong. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, so I've got that cave lit up now, so that should help with our creeper problem. Okay. Uh, God, I'm going to build a scaffold in here somehow. I'm going to use a cobblestone fork, but I guess I'm going to have to. I never did build my bunny farm that I was going to build. Definitely need to find some acacia, though, I think, before I make my uh, warehouse. I really want to use acacia wood flooring. Yeah, the backpack would definitely come in handy right now. You know how many times I've had to empty my inventory already just cutting down these trees? Let me go. 
Guys, while you're down there, can you make me some more dark oak stairs? There is something gold and bouncy. Um, maybe. <laughs> okay. Okay. I I thought I threw pretty much every bit of dark oak I had in the. Uh, I'm watching the woods over here because I saw something bouncing and I can't tell what it was. I don't know if it was like a skeleton in gold armor or what. Uh, another thing I found in Sky Den, which I would like to see us add, might even be the same add-on, um, is the better crafting table that actually has the storage built into it. Why have I not seen that? I thought I showed you that. But you, you basically, it has a uh, storage area built into it that you throw. So say if you were making a bunch of um, cobblestone half slabs, okay. just as an example. So you take your three cobblestone at the top uh, in the crafting table area, and you put it in the pattern that would make your half slabs. You fill that little storage area with just a bunch of cobblestone, and you just keep shift clipping, clicking on the cobblestone tabs, and it just keeps pulling from that inventory to make more. Here, take these stairs. Oops. And jump some of those back. Here you go. Thank you. In case you guys are wondering, I'm gonna suspend a bucket here. Well, not a bucket bucket, but... It'd be cool if you could do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh wait, but I could probably make a slab. Yes, I can make a slab. Okay. Oh wow! What? Oh, you put these jack o' lanterns in here. Okay, I was like, uh, I just found a bunch more jack-o'-lanterns. Oh. We might have enough for your project. And then <laughs> it dawned on me that those were the jack-o'-lanterns I already gave you. No, but you need to stop talking about that damn project or I'm going to want to work on it. We can't work <laughs> on it. I really want to work on it. Which, like I said, I mean, I might be able to turn it into something useful instead of, oh, this looks so stupid. Damn it! Problems. Come look. I ruined the well. Why are you breaking stuff? I didn't mean to. I tried to make it look like there was a bucket suspended. Maybe I should just take the slabs off. Well, no, because then the fences would still be there. Okay. Sorry. Had to empty my inventory because cutting down these trees is just filling up my inventory way too quick. Okay, so what's up? Take the slabs out, take the bottom two fence posts out. And the hell? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's supposed to be a bucket. Hush you. <laughs> Just don't break the uh, infinite, water infinite water source. not working the way I want it to. Oh my gosh. It looks like there's a swing. Just, I, I would say just kill the whole bucket idea. Yeah. Just do like decorative fencing around the edges or something. Man. I try so hard. <laughs> I'm so fired from the well building industry. I I demonstrated how not to build a well. <laughs> so I actually debated titling our uh, the 
video that I posted today. I was actually going to title it, uh, We Found a Potato. <laughs> but I didn't. Who found the potato? <laughs> Migosh found a potato. <laughs> you even end up finding that potato? I killed a uh, zombie. Yeah, okay. That one big run that we were doing. Did you get a big run? So Maybe it was the run that I was doing. Okay, see, I thought you found it in between episodes. That's why I was like... I was well, we weren't recording at the time, but... Yeah. I thought you were still doing the run with me. I might have been, because I think I remember you saying, tell me when you found it, when you planted it. I was all excited because we have a potato now. Hooray! Well, it's almost finished. I can't believe we're like even this far into stage three already. Jeez. Oh, we still got two more districts we gotta start yet. Yeah. yeah you figure, I mean, this is what the third. Well, no. We did the tree farm, we're finishing the well, and then we still have to do pads yet. Is the third part of stage three. Yeah. And then for the mining district, the only thing we've actually built so far is the mine. Yeah. I still gotta build the warehouse and supply shop. Which, actually, the way I was gonna do my warehouse is gonna be kind of a supply shop at the same time, so... I'm gonna have to figure out how I wanna do that. Wow, I've already pretty much burnt through all three of these iron axes I brought with me. Oh, good. It's night already. Let's just come back here and see how much of these trees I cut down. Let's see. I have to go sleep again. Crazy. Yep, I'm sleeping in City Hall again. I'm just gonna sleep in your house. It's closer. It's fine. I got a big chunk of the uh, forest cut down. I have no idea how long we've been recording. One of these days I'll remember to turn About the time back. 18 minutes. Oh, okay. How'd you figure that one out? Because I have a stopwatch. <laughs> I have it on my phone. I just keep forgetting to turn it on. I thought you said you were sleeping. Oh, there you go. It's taking forever. Because I had to run back there. Oh, okay. I, I was, I've cut down, let's see, I just put, thirteen and a, um, a little over thirteen stacks worth of dark oak logs in the uh, furnace that I'm turning into charcoal. Good God. Oh, I should probably make more axes. Man, I need to figure out a better setup the next time we record. My fingers are falling asleep. <laughs> Note to self, do not record Minecraft when you have a big game on your chest. Well, technically in the lab now. He's comfortable. Me, not so much. <laughs> Ooh, I need to go mining for iron. I'm using our last six iron ingots for axes. It's kind of late tonight, or maybe tomorrow I will uh, go do some mining off camera and. Ah, shit! I just made pickaxes with our last six iron ingots instead of making axes. <laughs> oh, God. Um, so, I guess I'm going to go do some uh, mining. Because <laughs> we don't even have any cobblestone down here. I have cobblestone.
cobblestone on me if you want some. Yeah, I'd, I'd burn through cobblestone axes so quick. Yeah, Cutting down that forest doors. anyway. I've got two stacks of cobblestone. And I have That's right. I have a crafting table in my inventory too. That's okay. I'm just gonna go grab some iron. Okay. Uh, I, I need to do a good mining session anyway. True. So come look at the did, wall. Did you come back here and see how much of the forest I already cut down? No, hang on. Where are you? Coming back here behind the inn or behind the uh, city hall. That's a witch. That is a witch. What should we do? We should burn her. <laughs> How do you know she's a witch? What do witches do? They float. So we should throw in her water. <laughs> nah, but what, what else floats? Uh, a duck? No, no. Something else that floats. Wood. Oh, yes. But what else does wood do? It burns. Let's burn her. <laughs> if she burns, she must be a witch. God. What? Way too much money Python is, kid. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is this is gonna screw with your OCD so so horribly bad. Do I even want to look? Well, no, no. The well is fine. The the well, I'm I'm happy with the well. I have to put torches in it eventually, but I'm happy with the well. The problem being, so I have. It's divisible by two. Cause okay. It's, it's six wide. Well, I was going to do the paths three wide, so it would be off-center. So Yes, that will screw with my it, OCD. Yeah, if I do the paths too wide, it's not going to be ideal. Do too wide with a little upraised thing on either side of it. It's technically four wide at that point, That'll but work. that way it kind of looks like a a, a, walkway. A, a, guarded, a guardrail type thing yeah, on the bridge. We can put uh, cobblestone walls on it. See, what the hell? That's a rabbit. Oh my god, there's another witch over there. I'm gonna be so mad. Okay. Heading down to the mine. Ooh, I didn't bring any wood logs with me. There's sand down in the city hall. One extra block to work with here. Do you want the path? Do you want a patch of grass in front of your garden or in front of your house? Say what? There are three blocks between our houses and our gardens. And we're putting a two wide path. Oh, we're going to have to move our gardens out one if I'm putting. So, I would put the path, or put a grass, the grass strip in front of the house. Okay with the path outside that grass strip and then have like just a little one block piece that goes up to the entrance to our porch. That'll work. I can do that. Okay. So Problems? Um, yeah, I moved the block that was holding the water from flooding. Right. That's actually kind of cute. I'm gonna put some flowers in there. Say it. They're in the game. We should use them somehow. So use them. I don't care. Maybe I'll put shrubs by your house instead of flowers. You must bring us a shrubbery. You totally realize I've only seen like one Monty Python in my whole life, right? Well, so far that quote that I've been, all the quotes that I've been making, have all been from the same Monty Python movie. Holy Grail? I think I have seen the whole... It's been forever. <laughs> we are the knights that say me. The only thing...
thing I remember is tis a mere flesh wound. Ah. Uh, the Green Knight. And then something about the Holy Hand Grenade. The Holy Hand Grenade of Antioch. Three shall be the count, and the count shall be three. Quoting that in between phone calls, just because she, I don't know if she was like obsessed with the movie or just, just a really cool quote. We were constantly saying that back and forth. In fact, I think we'll probably like share this later and tag her in it. So hi, Stephanie. <laughs> uh, do I want to put? In? Yes, I do need to put that here because I need to go across the river to the end. This is so hilarious. We talked this all through before we started the video, and I'm on the total opposite side. <laughs> I haven't even started the stuff that I was planning on doing because, like I said, I want to do that warehouse and stuff for the mining district, but I've got a specific way that I want to do it, which means I need to want to get the resources that I want in order to make it the way that I want it, if that makes sense. Well, I'm doing paths. I'm just doing the ones in front of our house towards the end instead of the ones on the other side of the river towards the market district. Oh, man. I'm sitting here watching Doctor Who, and it's the episode where he meets Clara. Well, the first one that he meets Clara? Yeah. Or she's not quite... Well, she didn't know she was Clara when they filmed this episode. I'll put it that way. Well, she knew she was Clara. She just didn't know... She didn't know she was going to be a recurring character. Yeah. And what she didn't realize in this episode was that she wasn't human. Well, she is... She is and she isn't. I mean, it depends on your perspective. <laughs> she's human, she's just impossible. Spoilers, sorry. <laughs> we haven't really given too much away, so... For anybody who hasn't seen that. Well, at this point, I'm sure everybody that watches the show has seen that episode. watching our show and be like, what the hell are they talking about? I need to go watch Doctor Who now. Okay, anybody that is watching our show, if you have never seen Doctor Who, I am very saddened by this statement. <laughs> you never know. Some people live under a rock. <laughs> oh, shit. It's nighttime? Um, I don't know, because I'm down inside of a cave. Because <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to where I was walking. And you didn't take a bed with you, did you? There's one in the mine upstairs. Okay. Once I tunnel my way back out of here. No, well, I am sleeping and, and waiting for you. I uh -huh. like, don't want to get the crap kicked at me. Although, you know what? I'm in my house, so let me know. I'm going to actually wake up because I want to grab some more cobblestone. If I have any in here, I might have it down the mine. Treasury and get rid of all this crap, too. Okay, running up to sleep. Forty blocks away. And sleeping. I've got cobblestone up here in the mine. If you want to come grab some, I've got uh, four stacks of it in the first. So as you walk in the mine, uh, chest on the top of the crafting table. I tell you, you're making too much noise. Well, no, I was readjusting because I was getting my tailbone driven into this chair. And he was just like, dude, mom, I'm trying to sleep here. Stop moving. You're comfortable. I 
love how children just assume that because they're comfortable, you must be comfortable, and, you know, as it turns out, you're getting, like, an elbow jammed in a random part of your body, and... No, it's the fact they don't care if you're comfortable, <laughs> as long as they are comfortable. <laughs> Squishy all the time. I was like, I want to snuggle with you, I want to snuggle with you, and she, like... She'll curl up on my lap and I'll put my arms around her and she's like, Mom, you're squishing me. And I'm like barely touching her. I'm just wrapping my arms around her. You're squishing my stomach. My stomach hurts. So I have to like drop my hands at my sides while she lays on me. And that's her definition of snuggling. <laughs> Sounds familiar. <laughs> Doesn't matter if I'm in pain. As long as you're comfortable and snuggling, you're okay. <laughs> I can't help it. You're short and you know, bony shouldered. almost done. I think I might put like railings or something on it to turn it into a formal bridge because this is kind of sucking as a path, but that's okay. We have a path across the river. Can't wait to hear what he bashes those when he sees this. One thing I haven't decided is how I want to do this mine once I get down to my normal mining depth. Okay. Well, you, you've seen how I do my mine off in four different directions. Yeah. But since they're making me do the 3x3 three three staircase all the way down, it doesn't quite work that way. Thinking out loud. Um, I'm doing really good with this path so far, although this is kind of wonky. Um, yeah, this will look alright. I'm going to get this all put in, and Migosh is going to come here and What are you talking about? Okay, if it's making you cringe. No, I hit a lava lake. No. So I was pouring water on it. I thought it was just regular sandstone. Trouble. 
came out here to make a shovel. Wow. Can you tell I took a nap today, folks? Really, it's just not showing at all. Although, hell, that nap was long enough, you might as well just call me Rip Van Winkle. <laughs> Uh, about 35 minutes. Notice with the sky den too, I've been breaking the video a lot lately and running off and doing things off camera and I'm wondering if I shouldn't be that it is a challenge. I mean we all do it, so we all know that it can be somewhat slow, but when you're doing a challenge, it's not so much about what you're watching as about what you're hearing and the random things that can happen while you're doing it because we've noticed a lot of our comedic moments take place off camera. Yeah. It's usually when I'm going to get blown up by a creeper or gassed or blaze or insert random mob here. Sam, don't you have there's a witch or something over here? Don't you have like hell bats or something in Skyden? Oh, fire bats or I don't know exactly what they're called, but those things are pain in the ass. Just because I have OCD and mine has to be laid out in perfectly made out grids and Yeah. I'm not even gonna go there. Alright, so that's connected. I'm debating if I wanna connect. Do the inn and the library have to be connected to the houses or city hall? They have to have a path that leads them back to City Hall. So you might as well basically just use like the same big pathway or something would be my way of doing it. I had to take my hand off the mouse for a second to regain feeling in my fingertips. Alright. Um. I think I just heard a bat hit lava. Am I taking this mine all the way down to 10? That's entirely up to you. You just spend more time in there than I do. That's usually where I like to mine at is 10. Yeah, if that's what you're going to do. Knock yourself out. And my sword's not on. Ah, shit. Interesting little factoid here because I did not learn this until I was doing a tutorial for um, Harvest Craft that I'm using and well, I'm going to be using if I ever decide to publish my solo series. Um, that if you hit a sunflower with bone meal, it spits out more sunflowers. Did not know that. Oh, I didn't know that either. Mm -hmm. It's nighttime again. You anywhere near a bed? I have to run upstairs. But yeah, I like Harvest Craft, and there's other 
means that I'm using like flesh to, uh, rotten flesh to leather. <laughs> you are the noisiest little baby when you sleep. Alright, I'm sleeping. Okay, so am I. He's trying to transform my chair into a vibrating chair. And we're up over the 40 minute mark. Are we? Yep. Yeah. Are you ready to close out then? Or what do you want to do? Yeah, we can go ahead and close out the video. I am almost down to level 10 for the mine, so I'm going to finish this up before I actually log out for the night. Well, we did finish up our well here that we started in the last episode and kind of fixed up off camera here. Uh, we got a lot of our pathways put in connecting our houses to City Hall, which actually, ironically, I didn't put the path from the well to the door of City Hall. I should probably do that between episodes. Uh, so, probably in between episodes we'll get some more of these pathways done. Uh, Migash is going to be in charge of our mining district as far as our warehouse and stuff, so we'll probably pop over and check on him uh, and see how he's doing with that next episode. And um, I should actually have some headway on it by next episode because I'm going to do quite a bit off camera getting the framework and everything laid out for it. Okay, and then I will probably start doing a little bit of terraforming up on that hill there for the market district. Um, well, I thought you were going to put it behind City Hall. Or, yeah, behind City Hall. Keep reminding me of that. <laughs> well, now that I'm like getting rid of all those trees for you and doing some yeah. terraforming. I, I think that will actually work out better. Yeah, I'm not going to walk back there right now because there's still a bunch of trees in. I don't want to die. Sue! Yeah, I think I think that other hill is actually going to lead us to our port district, if I remember where the ocean is correctly. Yeah, I'm going to have to go through on our little testing world and get my bearings and decide what we're going to do there. Uh, but anyway, for this video, uh, I think we're pretty much ready to wrap up. Uh, if you guys like the video, as always, feel free to leave us a thumbs up. We also appreciate any comments you might have. Uh, any constructive criticism is also appreciated. Um, these are automatically updated to our Google Plus and Twitter pages, but you are definitely welcome to share them to your favorite social media sites. And please subscribe, and when you do subscribe, you do receive email updates when we post our new videos. So thanks again for tuning in, everybody. Bye! Bye!